in the Richter Howard Receiver of the Year, Indiana's Ty Freifogel. The senior had a huge season for the 6-1 and one Hoosiers, including becoming the first IU player ever to post multiple 200-yard receiving games in the same season. First time a Hoosier has captured this honor. Pleased to be joined now by the Richter Howard Big Ten Receiver of the Year, Indiana's Ty Freifogel. How does that sound, Ty? Pretty good receiver of the year. Oh yes, sir. It's really exciting, you know, to get to get this award. You know, I mean, a lot of people helped me get here, but you know, I'm mean, excited to just be named receiver of the year. And I mean, when I heard, you know, I was like the first in program history. That really, you know, just gave me a, a lot of joy. You know, you said a lot of people helped you get here. Who in particular stands out in that group? Um, I would just say, you know, my, my mom, my grandparents, my family, coaches, teammates. I mean, just a lot of people that helped me get to this point over the past four years, you know. Just a lot of people I got to give thanks to. Tough news for you guys with the cancellation of the Purdue game once again. How disappointing is it not to be able to play the bucket battle this year? I mean, yes, it's, it's real disappointing, you know. But, I mean, you, you got to think, you know, health is the first concern for our football team their football team, you know, but I say Purdue got lucky two weeks in a row this year. <laughs> Ty, this has been such a great story to follow this team this season, and much of the attention is focused around Coach Allen and the LEO philosophy. What's the sense inside the team of and how that philosophy comes to the forefront day to day? Well, I mean, Coach Allen, you know, he's just a great guy, you know, you know, you, you get what you see out of Coach Allen. You know how some coaches, you know, you know, put on for, like, the media and stuff. But Coach Allen, you get what you see. He's a great guy, you know. He just makes guys want to just run through a wall for him. Like, he's, he's just a really good coach. I mean, he preaches what he says. You know, four years ago he says we were going to break through. And, you know, everything he says has been happening recently. And I think the trend's going to continue going upward from here. What is it specifically about him? Um, because obviously there are a lot of great guys out there who are college football coaches. What makes Coach Allen special? Um, he's just so energetic and, you know, enthusiastic. You know, he he just gets his team fired up. I mean, we're, we're always fired up anyway, but seeing his excitement and his, his approach to the game, you know, makes you want to go even harder than you do. What will your bowl game mean to this team, particularly given that you didn't get to play a couple games down the stretch here? I mean, we're we're excited to see where we, you know, fall into the, the college playoff rankings. You know, I mean, you know, I think we put ourselves in a great position to be in a New Year's Six game. And that's what, you know, we're, we hope we're hoping for. And, you know, we're going to take advantage of any opportunity, whether any bowl game we play in, we're going to, you know, give it all. Well, Ty, congratulations on this award. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us. Thank you for having me.